What is the difference if somebody's having angina from the big one in the sky, from somebody that's having a true heart attack? Mm -hmm. Do they have the same symptoms? Well, angina symptoms, uh, if you're having a heart attack, then that is, is chest discomfort that does not go away. It, it's more severe, it tends to be more severe, and it doesn't come and go with activity, it comes and stays. And so if somebody has a heart attack, what do you tell them to do? We tell them 911, call 911, don't have your spouse bring you in, it's, it's better to call the uh, emergency I, services. Because emergency service will have oxygen available, portable electrocardiogram, they can get the information ready as you're getting to the patient. The Correct, patient. and sometimes they have to defibrillate. A defibrillate would be what indication for that? If the heart goes out of rhythm with that heart attack. So when they go to the emergency room and they've got a heart attack uh, and they make that diagnosis with the electrocardiogram or what's available, do you go to the cath lab again then? So if it's a heart attack, we go very promptly to the cath lab immediately. And why do you do that? We say time is muscle, talking about the heart muscle. So the, the more quickly we can get to the cath lab, the more quickly we can open the blocked artery and, and save that heart muscle. So in your experience, if somebody comes in with a heart attack and you take it off the cath lab and you open up some of the vessels, uh, how much, how often, how frequent do you get the good results where the patient doesn't have as much problem? Well, it's uh, most of the time, most of the time. Our success rate is very high, uh, particularly if people come in uh, promptly. Now, if they had the heart attack and they show up a few days later, then the results are not going to be as good.